Right guys, now we need, this is the rudder and we need to make this to be able to move. <clears throat> now there are a number of ways that you're able to do that. I'm going to show you a fairly quick way to do it. You can buy a little plastic um, film called Mylar which you can insert into the edges here and you can actually buy um, small little hinges which will require you to cut into the wood here and along here and then likewise on the rudder but I'm going to show you a little bit of a cheat which works quite well particularly with these smaller models when they're not under such high stress so what I've actually done is I've actually cut two bits of the Solitex covering um, it's about ooh, it's about 15 mil um, and then what I've done is you'll notice it's exactly the same length as that top rudder like so so what we're going to do and you have to be slightly careful with this but the nice thing about practicing on the rudder is that if it all goes wrong you can have another go. So what I'm doing is I'm just offering it up so that you can see that the covering is just matching in line with the bit of back end of the bolster. And what I'm doing is I'm just tacking that down in place. Now, um, try and go like so because then you're away from it putting the heat on this area. So that's just gently tacked in place. Now what we're going to do is we're going to stick that to that. Now what we don't want is we don't want if they're butted together they won't actually work. So what we're looking for is a bit of a gap. So the best way of doing that is if you hold it over the table like so making sure that this is lined up and what we're going to do is I'm going to drop that rudder down by about 35-40 degrees and I'm just going to quickly tack that so that then gives me the position and then what we'll do is very got to be very careful here because you notice how quickly I'm using the iron now look so we've got that working one way but we really want that to do that both ways so same thing again remembering to take the plastic film off what I'm going to do is I'm just going to gain I'm going the fin end and then I'm just going to quickly just dab that oh, that's got a little, oh, that's got a little bit hot but that's oh, okay and then exactly the same thing again Bend it over about 30 degrees off the end of the bench. And once you've got it roughly in place, what you can do is now you'll notice, look. They are beautiful. So that will be perfect and we don't need to um, do any more than that. If you shrink it too much what will happen is it will all pull together and then it will all lock up and it won't go. So there you go. That's how you hinge the rudder. Okay, the uh, elevator is exactly the same process. <clears throat> I have just tacked on a piece of this 15 mil wide solar texas side and that side hung it over the end and then I then heated the other end onto it and this side I've done exactly the same so I've tacked across the top very lightly very quickly I'm now just going to bend this over so the elevator is hanging down by about sort of 30 30 odd degrees and then all I'm going to do is I'm very quickly going to tack that in place there you go keeping the angle down and this will be 
all the hinging of the control surface. Now if you don't want to do this, there is another way of hinging this. Um, you can buy a medical bandage tape called Blenderm or something similar. It's like a fabric-y type um, covering and you could actually do that. So you could actually tape it. I wouldn't use normal sellotape. It won't last 30 seconds because you go out anywhere, one, it'll be affected by the sunlight and the other thing is um, any damp, any moisture in the air and it will just peel straight off. But the medical tape, the sort of blender, it's like a fabric, I've got me with me, but um, it's, it's very good. So you could actually do that. So I'm just going to carry on finishing this off. But there you go, look. 